Today, let's talk about privilege, a word that deserves to be explored. Privilege, what does it mean? The word privilege has a Latin root that combines the notion of private, or privus, with law, or legis. So privilege refers to an exception to the norm, such as a special right to something, or an advantage over something or over someone, an immunity against the standards of the law. In short, privilege implies conditions and considerations not enjoyed by most others. Privilege seems to draw a protective circle around me so that I don't have to be close to you or notice your need or share anything with you or do anything to ease your situation. Privilege shields me from the truth of my vulnerabilities, my many forms of poverty, and enshrines my illusions about who I am among others. So the more I hide inside my privilege, the less I grow into a real human being. But I want to offer you an entirely different understanding of this word. I say that privilege is an invitation, specifically an invitation to live life generously. Wow, that's the exact opposite of what you'd expect. Privilege is the invitation to live life generously. Many of us think of ourselves as not especially privileged. In fact, we may feel the burden of exclusion or oppression, especially from systems that are larger than us, more moneyed and more powerful than we will ever be. Systems designed to not see us as real human beings. So I started to think about privilege, not at the large systems level, but at the very close in granular level. So here I am eating my breakfast of half an apple, hot oatmeal with a splash of milk and steamy coffee. Wow, the privilege of nutritious food and a place to store and prepare it. While I eat, I scroll through emails and blog posts Wow, the privilege of eyesight and vision, and the privilege of plenty of electrical outlets to keep my devices charged. After breakfast, I'm sitting now and pulling on my socks and then lacing up my hiking boots. Wow, the privilege of physical agility. I take off for a day of hiking in the nearby hills. Wow, the privilege of stamina. At the end of a long day, I crawl into my comfy bed. Wow, the privilege of a place of quiet, cozy rest. Which raises the question, how do I know if something is a privilege? The answer is simple. For every good I enjoy, including the goods I take for granted, I add the phrase, because it could be otherwise. There are many people who have no place to store, prepare, or eat a nutritious meal, prepared just the way they like it, when they like it. There are people whose eyesight is gone or fading fast. There are people who lack the physical capacity to do simple tasks. There are people whose stamina can't get them across the room. There are people who have no place to call home for quiet, cozy rest. Privilege is the invitation to live life generously. I may take for granted in my life some things that you will never have. So how can I help you? How can I make your life easier or more reliable and secure? How can I speak up on your behalf? How can I share the fruits of my adventures, my good fortune, my experiences in ways that enrich you and bless you and reinforce your humanity? These are important spiritual questions because I always know it could be otherwise. There but for the grace of God go I. Think about Jesus. He lived with a very big privilege, the privilege of having the heart of God beating in his chest. 
Wow, that's the ultimate privilege. After he was raised from the dead, he breathed his spirit, his very essence, into his followers. He does the same with us today, which means that you and I share the privilege of the heart of God beating in our chest. Jesus never kept his privilege to himself, and neither can we. The heart of God is too large for our bodies, too large for the soul, the mind, the imagination. So it keeps pushing outward, keeps pushing us outward toward those who need some of what we have been given. Those others would be everyone. You can think of this outward push as conscience. Call it the hunch that you know is true and ultimately inescapable. You can run, but you cannot hide from this hunch and the outward push. You sense the magnitude of the invitation by the intensity of the pushback. The privilege of having the heart of God beating in our chest will take different forms in each of us, which means that sooner or later we all will need each other and we all at some point will bless each other. This is the essence of community, beloved community, that brings forth life. Privilege is meant to be mobilized, not weaponized, but mobilized, which raises the question, what to do with my privilege? Well, here's my advice. Please don't come up with a plan. Ask Jesus, what might you have in mind? Who do you desire to touch with your sense of what's right and fair and just? Who do you desire to touch with your generosity and your joy through me? You might be surprised at the answers. I always am. The truth is, you and I are accountable for our many forms of privilege. For those to whom much is given, much is asked in return. It works that way. Everything we have received is at the service of our unique and vital mission in life, which is to reveal the reign of God in our place in our time. Privilege, it's all invitation to the Christ-centered life, and that's something you can really live with. So reach out and let me know your thoughts. Send me your stories of how you live life generously. It's not bragging, it's sharing the light. Please like, comment and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Be well, live in peace, love one another.